Oh, my God. I just got to show this real, the real quick. You, it turns out, at the end of every day, you, you get a big briefcase. Why? You come home with that. What's it's that? It's just, it's the work I need to do overnight. You get a big uh, briefcase That's of documents. Right. And your daughter, Neve... She keeps getting jealous. So, the, the, this is how great and how friendly these people are. The New Zealand government put together a briefcase for Neve to have at the end of the day, <laughs> too. Isn't that lovely? Uh, it's, she, uh, come on. she calls it her, her busy work. Yes. And... Uh, if I come home without it, she's bitterly disappointed. But sure. when I do come home with it, she goes, oh. <laughs> uh, her work is never done. More homework, so. <laughs> Let me ask you about parliamentary democracy here. Because mm. it looks like you guys are doing a pretty good job. When you do, tell me how it works. So you basically would be like, tell me if I got this wrong. Like it would be like if a member of our Congress, um, uh, if if one party controls the Congress, the leader of that party ends up being the prime minister. Correct. Like as, Correct. If, as if the Speaker of the House became Whoever president. Whoever is you able might say. to form government mm -hmm. and the leader of that majority party mm -hmm. uh, of that major party form, becomes the prime minister. Now, do you watch how our government works? Yes. Okay. Do you have any thoughts? Does, do, do you understand how our 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 government works? I believe so. <laughs> <laughs> Could you explain that? To I me? would. I would. I would. <laughs> It, it tends to be a, a policy of, of uh, countries like mine to stay out of other countries' politics. <laughs> it's not a policy of ours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we like to finger around in there, get, get in there. Yeah. Okay, oh, okay. Um, despite being a world away from Ukraine, New Zealand has sent uh, money, equipment, and training hmm. to Ukraine's army. Yeah. What message do you and your country want to send about New Zealand's role in the world? No, I had a, a conversation, this is a good few weeks ago now, with the Prime Minister of Ukraine, and I remember saying to him, I mean, any contribution in, at this time, particularly when you're a country of five million people, it feels so dwarfed by the magnitude of what's happening. Mm -hmm. And I remember saying to him, look, uh, we're so small, but here are the things that we can do, and this is what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And he said to me, it's not about small and it's not about big, it's those who react and those who don't, and you have reacted. And he, it, that just says it all. It's not about size, it's about values. And in these moments, standing together, regardless of whether you're on the other side of the world or not, and showing that this is not a conflict that we're going to let happen in the shadows. We will speak up, we will speak against it, and stand together until it, until it ends. We have to take a little bit of a break, but when we come back, I will ask the Prime Minister about her upcoming nuptials. Stick around.